Speaking of teams that we've talked a lot about, but suddenly have taken at least a small dip in their standings, uh, the Minnesota Rocker. They're the hosts of this mm-hmm. series, but man, I mean, we. This is this is a a big. They. I feel like they are past the inflection point right now in terms of how we speak of this team. If you look at it like a parab- uh, parabola, why am I using big words like this? But if you look at the parabola, <laughs> we were what past is, the top. Ma- okay? what is we're, ma- we're past the inflection point of the parabola, people. Right. Look it up, all right? <laughs> but, like, it's on the are downward slide now. Back to junior high math, we and are, I love it. We are scaling down the mountain here, okay, <laughs> of the Minnesota Rocker and our opinions of them. How important is, or let me ask it like this, where do they need to place in this tournament for us to start giving them props and hope for tournament victories again? Oh, well, semifinals, right? They have to yeah. They have to get back to the semifinals. And this is something, uh, it was actually, it just went live a couple of hours ago on the Call of Duty League website. I'm not sure if they're going to tweet it out, but I did a interview with um, the head coach, Brian Saint, GodRx, and Silly talking about what was going on with them, Arda, and their big takeaway, something interesting from Brian, from their coach, Brian Saint, to note, was that he pointed out, he's like, look, yes, we had two lackluster events, but within those events, we lost to good teams, and if you look at the time frame of those events, it's roughly two and a half weeks of playing poorly in the grand scheme of things it's not like it's months of consistent issues Mm -hmm. it's weeks of issues so i thought that was something i hadn't considered so that was one note that he made but on top of that as well silly and goderex acknowledged that um all the teams are affected either positively or negatively by a transition from land online rocker was affected negatively there's a lot of players on that team who feed off of the land energy feed off of the crowd and that environment. So it was difficult for them to not only not physically be with their team, because GodRx was home, Silly was home, Asim was home, and to to not be there and to not be on LAN affected them very much so negatively. And, And Silly at one point described it as a losing full scrim period, where they were just not communicating well. It was just nothing was flowing. They were not making progress so after they lost uh, that second time in a row, uh, a lot of them sat down and had a, had a big heart-to-heart talk about what was going on and, and why they weren't improving and why they were regressing. And as they explained it to me, it seemed to have gone very well and they seemed to be much improved in their communication and how effective their scrimmages are being and what they're able to get done. Goderex and Silly are both back in Minnesota now. Asim is the only member of the team who is not in Minnesota. So Brian told me that it's been very beneficial for them to have everyone in the same space together and spending time with each other and, and re-synergizing as a team that had very good chemistry from the get-go. Um, so he said they've seen improvements. We will see if that carries through to the event. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a lot of kind of issues that all happened for them at once, particularly Landa online and uh, kind of that rough three week period. And he did acknowledge Arda Brian acknowledged that uh, they got a little bit lazy in their scrims leading up to those events, right? Um, they weren't taking their scrims quite as seriously as they used to, and that hurt them as well. So. Fines are back in full force. You better be on time. They get there an hour early to do VOD reviews. Uh, so it seems like they've really kind of pulled their pulled their heads out of the sand and they're and they're grinding very hard for their event. Can I just read one line that I absolutely love from your article? So I put the link in the chat, by the way, for oh, those that want to check it out. Uh, this is something from uh, who wrote who who is this quote from? Uh, I don't see the uh, uh, Baraska. Sorry, this is from Baraska. Oh, said, that's Brian Saint. Brian Saint. Yeah, Brian, yeah. yeah. So uh, Saint said, "We've been a lot more strict as coaches. If someone is even sixty seconds late, they are fined." Yeah. And going yeah. back to yeah. exactly what we said to Seattle, like that. There you go. What a solution. <laughs> what a solution. So you're sixty <laughs> seconds late. You're fined. Let me just yeah, but that. but here, right? No, it's great though, Arda. And so here's why it's great, right? Because Rocker, Minnesota, is not made up of a million, like, scumps or karmas or superstars, yeah. right? So yeah. those fines sting those players more because maybe they are AMs who were given their first shot, like Asim and maybe, you know, even GodRx. 
So like, it's all new enough to them, but look at, look at a karma. Like, is he going to really care about the fine <laughs> you give him for being late? Like he's like, he, he doesn't have that hunger anymore, right? He doesn't have that passion anymore. He He's also Mr. Three Ring. So, like, what was he going to care about your fine? Like, there's I think there's a mentality difference there of sure. why it is going to be very effective to, to Minnesota and why it might not be so effective in Seattle. But at that point, like, yes, crack down. Throw out your fines. Like, show up on time, people. It's not, it's really not that hard to show up on time to some. Especially when you don't even have to leave your room. Yeah, they're professionals. Yeah. Come on. I mean, I mean, I I, I really it, enjoyed yes. I really enjoyed reading this because I feel like people uh, just across esports in general, like talking again earlier this week, I've been running the League of Legends Championship Series like interview gauntlet before they start, and this is something that a ton of teams have struggled with. If they're not already in a gaming house, how do you deal with the fact that? You can just look away during VOD review or you can be doing something else on your screen and like the coach might not be able to see it. Um, And even like, I believe it was one of the Mutineers players actually that talked about this, but Silly and DotRx both talked about this when I talked the last time I spoke with them. Um, And they said like, it's really weird not being in an environment where you feel like you're like getting up and you're going to an event. Right. And that really silly commented on that. Yeah. They said that like really helped them get in the mindset, right? Like you're getting up, you're getting dressed, you're going with your team to the, to the event, you're in your practice room, you're all together. Um, That was something that like multiple people on this team and I talked to them, they said really helped them. um, Especially since to Katie's point, one of the rockers greatest strengths was coming out. They had that chemistry. This team was Mm -hmm. built with all of them buying into each other and wanting to play with each other and i think it was that in that case it was designed really really well uh especially if you're making the comparison to a team like seattle um but having that means that having them in the same space i think is going to do wonders so it's really nice to read this and see a lot of the measures that they've taken because they have recognized how much it's hurt the team. Now, how well they'll do this weekend, it's going to be tough because they're on the tougher side of the bracket. Uh, Right. One thing that we can say is that previously they have matched up pretty well against it. They have won one records with both of those teams. Yes. So, I mean, you can say, you know, it's definitely not impossible for the rocker, but we need to see the rocker, not of their past two events, but of, previous times.